So today I'm going to be winterizing my power tools. I love my power tools. They are so fun to use in spring, summer, and fall. So the power tools I got here is I got my weed eater, my leaf blower, and my two chainsaw. So all of these are a two cycle, two stroke engine that it really is best if you winterize them. So they last a lot longer. So there are four ways that you can store a power tool. As you can ladle not do anything, which is not a great way to do it. You can <laughs> um, put some gas stabilizer in it and then just store it with the gas in it, which, which works, it's no problem. There is still some chemicals and the gas that is staying in the carburetor isn't very good for it. And then the other way, the way that I prefer to do it is to just drain all the gas. <clears throat> that way the carburetor still stays completely empty, completely dry all winter. Some people don't like doing it this way because the problem with that is with the carburetor being dry, the spark plug stays dry and some people say it cracks and breaks a lot easier. But this is the way I like to do it. Oh, and there is another way you can do it. You can go and buy what's called power gas. And it's a very, very clean gas. It's got the stabilizer in it. You just put it in that and store it with that in it. And then it doesn't have the chemicals that will clog your carburetor. Carburetor, sorry. Sorry if you can see all this um, mist going up in the air. It's kind of cold outside. It is snowing, so after this, I'm gonna be shoveling some driveway. But let's get my power tools winterized. So the one I'm gonna show you, so basically what I do is I go and buy gas. There is a gas station around the corner that has the alcohol-free, kind of the cleaner gas. That's what we always do. We go and fill up our five gallon can of the gas. Then I put, this is my two gallon. You can kind of see it there is the chainsaw gas. Basically put that, I take the stabilizer, put it in all of the gas, whether I know I'm gonna use it or not. That way you're not worried about it going bad because gas will go bad. But as I was saying, I fill this up with two gallons. Then I take my two cycle engine oil and go by the directions on the back and fill it with this. So this is my chainsaw, leaf blower, all my power tools. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna take the gas can, we're gonna put this siphon in it, and we're gonna take the power tool, dump it in, let all that stabilized gas go back into here. When we're done, we'll store it for the winter, but the tool will be empty. So I'm gonna start with the leaf blower because it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to do it with. Okay, we don't need the stabilizer, we don't need the oil. gas in it so I'm gonna start it again after getting all the gas out of that <clears throat> oh 
Okay, now the little pump is empty. I don't know if it's gonna start. because like I said, it is snowing outside. Yep, I think it's empty. One more time. I think we're empty. Oh, and I forgot to say, actually, when you are storing your power tools with the gas engine, or the gas in it, it is very good if what you do is you go and do, or you exercise your tools. You go out like once a month, maybe the first of the month, maybe the end of the month, and you just go and run it for like two or three minutes just to exercise it a little bit. Okay, my leaf blower's done. Now let's do my <clears throat> weed eater. So the weed eater, definitely out of all of my towel power tools, gets most of the use because we try to mow our lawn and do the weed eating once a week. We do use the leaf blower on like the driveway after we've done the lawn mowing, but we have to go around our whole backfield in the front yard So that weed eater gets a lot of use So let's dry this one out <laughs> Can't get this stupid lid on. Come on! Well, I hope I don't sound funny. I actually just got back from the dentist a couple weeks ago. I got a root canal. I don't know if you ever had one of those, but they're really not the best. But then I went to the dentist today and then he sanded off the rest of the tooth, took a impression and I got a fake tooth up there. In a couple weeks, I get to go back and they give me the crown. So this whole side of my mouth is a little numb. So I feel kind of funny trying to talk, but I mean, I'm talking okay, but if you looked at me really closely, you wouldn't see my mouth moving as normal. Okay, so I bet you know how to do this now. You drain the tank, run it till it runs dry, then this thing is powerful, is winterized. Fun stuff. Now, I get to go clean up some snow, because it's been snowing all day, and I love the snow because I love to play in it. I love to go sledding. I love to snowboard, that is my fun thing. But this is the part I don't really like, is having to shovel it, but I would shovel any day to keep my driveway, my sidewalk clean. So if you enjoyed what you see, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project. This is my video disclaimer. So I recorded this video, I posted it on YouTube, and I was reading some more about 
storing power tools and I realized that different manufacturers were saying to do it differently so I'm going to continue to do it this way where I store it dry but go by your owner's manual just go by what the manufacturer is suggesting now I feel comfortable posting this on YouTube